delivering its much-anticipated verdict over the fundamental rights petition filed challenging the President's proclamation to dissolve the Parliament, the Supreme Court yesterday issued a stay order temporarily suspending the Gazette notification issued by the President until the 7th of December. In such a backdrop, issuing a statement yesterday, Speaker Karu Jaisuri informed that the Parliament will be convened today in line with the 2095 upon 50 Gazette notification issued by the President on the 4th of November. Before convening the Parliament, the Speaker called a party leaders meeting this morning. We have to resolve this by showing the majority. We will show the legal prime minister and the legal government of this country today. We are here at the parliament since we do not fear anything. It's not about showing the physical strength, but as the government, we are ready to face anything that comes along the way. The opposition is at the parliament today since they fear the public. It was decided during the party leaders meeting that the parliament agenda will be decided when the parliament convenes. During the meeting, the JVP handed a no-confidence motion against the present government, stating that the appointments of Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa and the cabinet are illegal. The JVP handed over a no-confidence motion against the government as the appointments of Prime Minister and the cabinet are illegal. Thus, we have no faith in the present government. We expect to pass the motion during the parliamentary session with a majority. In every way, if a debate arises over the agenda of the parliament, we will use our majority. If not, we will use our majority to win the no-confidence motion. Meanwhile, parliamentarians of the United People's Freedom Alliance headed by Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa and MPs of the United National Party headed by Ranil Vikramasinghe held meetings in the committee rooms today. Following all these manifestations, the parliament met at 10 this morning. In protest of the current political situation, UNP parliamentarians came into the house wearing black ribbons with the slogan for the democracy. Public representatives of the UPFA, including Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa, meanwhile, took their seats in the government side in Parliament, while former Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe took a backbencher's seat. Meanwhile, State Ministers A.H.M. Fauzi and P.S.C. Nagamagi, as well as Manu Shananayakara, who left his ministerial position recently, sat with the opposition in the Parliament. Foreign ambassadors were also seen in the invitees gallery of the House today. As per tradition, it is the President who usually heads the first session after the Parliament is prorogued. President Maitripala Sirisena, however, was not present in the House today, leaving Speaker Karujai Surya to head the session. President's proclamation to reconvene the Parliament was presented by Secretary General of the Parliament, Dammika Dasanayaka. The Parliament will be convened on the 14th of November in 2018. <laughs> TNA parliamentarian M.A. Sumandiran proposed the Speaker that the session be continued by suspending usual standing orders, which are adhered to during a first session after a prorogation of the Parliament. Honourable Sumandiran. Your attention, Honourable Speaker, to Standing Order 135, and I am moving that the standing orders be suspended for today's sitting. And as you can see, if this is moved by somebody other than a Minister of the Cabinet of Ministers, it shall be decided by a division in the House. So as I move that the standing orders be suspended for the day, I also move that uh, the Honourable Speaker be pleased to present my motion for the suspension of standing orders for a division of the House to be voted upon. Yeah. Whatever it is. Honourable Speaker, I second it. I second yeah. Mr. Thomas hey, hey, proposal. However, Minister Dinesh Kunavardhan, who was recently appointed as the leader of the House, presented the proposal to adjourn the Parliament. And for the next day, as <coughs> As per the agenda, the session must be adjourned after President's speech, so I propose the Parliament be adjourned until the next parliamentary session. My submission. This is my submission. Okay, I will finish. No. Now it is very clear. Honorable Sumandaran moving, moving a resolution. Honorable Vijita Herat, Honorable Anuradhisanaka seconding. There is no motion at the moment. Now you can't wait, 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 Only yeah, now, wait, only mind. now the error, error, right, okay, error of not handing a motion 
was accepted by Honorable Vijita Herat. He accepted that there is no motion and he walked up only now to hand over a motion. This can be only taken up on another day of parliamentary sitting. Today is a special occasion, so I'd have to take the approval of the House and make a decision. A vote was then proposed to decide on the further measures, following which Speaker Jai Surya announced that standing orders are suspended for the day with a majority vote. There is no norm in this parliament to hold a vote for a no-confidence motion on the same day that it is tabled. You are violating norms of this parliament. Let the House decide. I am taking a vote. Leader of the JVP then presented the no-confidence motion against Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa and the current government, which was seconded by JVP MP Vijita Herat. Leader of the JVP also proposed that the consensus of the House should be sought today itself. The House proposes that there is no confidence on the Prime Minister, Cabinet of Ministers and the newly established government. The opposition then moved the division and after the division bell was rung, Speaker Jai Surya ordered the commencement of the vote. We'll take a vote. I have to give one eyes. Oh, bell again. At this juncture, a tense situation erupted inside Parliament. Speaker then claimed the majority of parliamentarians literally raised their voices in support of the no confidence motion and announced that the motion was passed with the majority vote. Apart from the six JVP parliamentarians, 14 TNA parliamentarians, 98 UNP MPs, current state ministers AHM Fauzi and PSA Nagamage, as well as Manushan Anayakara, who left his ministerial position recently, also signed the no confidence motion against the government and Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa. 
The parliament was then adjourned until 10 a.m. tomorrow. Later issuing a communique, the Speaker's media unit said that a copy of the no-confidence motion and the decision of the House in that regard, with signatures of 122 parliamentarians, has been sent to the President, declaring that the Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Ministers appointed by him recently are unconstitutional in order to take appropriate action according to the Constitution. Parliament to a head of the 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 Parliament to a head of the